What's up everyone, Jack from Half Chrome, and today I've got this. This is a special radio coming from Radio Master. And it's not special in terms that it's uh, hard to get, it's special because it's awesome. Um, you know, I talked before about how I really love the Radio Master TX16S, and this is the same thing, just looks a whole lot cooler. Now, they're making new looking radios with some minor improvements, um, and this is an example of that. Now, you can see here I've got the silver edition, they're silver, gold, and carbon fiber, plus, you can customize some of the other things like the side grips and some of the CNC parts like the handle, um, if you so choose. So um, let's talk about this radio. Now it's also multi-protocol, which means it can fly pretty much anything. Um, and uh, why you might want this new shiny looking version for yourself. Stay tuned. Okay, so here it is. Here is the new blinged up TX16S, and it's a beauty. Welcome to OpenTX. You can hear there's an upgraded speaker in there, um, and that's really kind of the only uh, internal difference, I believe. Uh, we've got this handle that now folds, so that is new and different. Um, but really, this is the same radio as the uh, original Radio Master TX-16. Um, let's power this one on. You can kind of hear it won't be, it's not quite as loud. Now you can change the volume, of course, but uh, one of the improvements that they did tell me was um, speaker. Uh, but but really, uh, everything that, if you were to order one of these now, the, the newer production uh, black radios, it's going to have all the improvements that this one is. So um, this is not a version two. So any improvements that they've made on this radio, any of the radios they make, uh, those are kind of carrying over. Uh, but this, the things that are different is you can get this in silver like I did, or chrome as I like to call it, um, gold or carbon fiber. Now there are other uh, little differences that I have here. Uh, you'll notice that my wheel is in black. Um, you can actually get these in, I think, purple, red, silver, or black. Um, and, and, you know, all of these pieces here, um, you can kind of customize those, these little rings around the switches. Now, uh, even the sides, you have two leather choices if you want. Now, those you're going to have to order later on. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind. I still have to update my screen. Look at that. I think that's super cool. Um, but yeah, this is a great radio. I 100%, 100% recommend this radio. I love it. Um, you know, do you need the, the bling? Well, uh, you know, that's up to you. Um, you can save 10 bucks, get the black one, or you can kind of get this customized one. That's up to you. Other little differences about this radio. Again, it's not a version two, but just kind of a newer style. Uh, we've got the double uh, ring for uh, your... your um, neck strap and actually they've included a neck strap so actually let's get that on there because uh, i'll use it this is my new daily driver i'm going to use this awesome one look at that they even put half chrome on there for me uh, so fantastic i just gotta upgrade the screen uh, update the screen um it does uh, of course have usb charging in the bottom two ports for servos um, it does come with an sd card mine had models already set up which was super cool um, i didn't have to do that um, you know it, in the top we do have a spot for another usb c um, and an audio jack i think that's for a trainer i don't know i don't do that stuff but uh, that's to uh, connect for a simulator and it is of course a multi-protocol radio Notice the buttons look a little bit different. A little easier to read, I think. So being a multi-protocol radio, there are just so many different options, ways to, to do this. So many different drones that you can fly. Look at that, Hubson, JJRC. Uh, MJX, you know, it flies, of 
course, Spectrum, Fly Sky. Um, you know, I pretty much fly FR Sky stuff. Um, but you can also put in a crossfire, a full size crossfire module in the back. And it does, it also comes with a battery tray. So I got two 18650s on there. And I can, of course, charge them inside the radio, which is super cool and super helpful. So. Yeah, this is my new daily driver, Hall Sensor Gimbals, uh, which feel really good, um, really nice. And I do think the switches are actually a little bit better, especially these uh, here, these sliders on the side. I feel like they're just a little bit nicer. So yeah, it's a quality radio. Um, and I love that it's multi-protocol because you can fly pretty much everything. So you get a USB-C cable with it. Cool little keychain. Some extra springs, you know, a start guide, some stickers, and a case to put it in, right? So that's actually quite helpful. Um, you know, it fits right in there so that you can take it with you and uh, not worry about it getting damaged. So that is the Radio Master TX16S. Special edition. Now in the end, this really is, if you ask me, the best radio. I've tried this, I've tried the, the new jumper, uh, and I really like the Radio Master. It just feels good, it has good quality. Um, there are cheaper, inexpensive options out there, and there are also more expensive versions. So uh, kind of this one with the Hall Sensor Gimbals is really pretty darn nice for about 150 or $160, depending on which one you want. Now, if you don't need the Hall Sensor Gimbals, save a few bucks and, uh, you know, get that light version. But overall, Radio Master makes a good quality remote, and you can't go wrong whichever style you choose. Hey, hopefully this was helpful. If you haven't already, check us out on halfchrome.com. If we got something wrong, leave a comment down below, or if you have a question, I'll get to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck, and happy flying.